Hi there, it's Vicki McCarthy from Aussie Stampers. Thank you very much for joining me again today. Today I'm going to be showing you how to cover a notebook and these are one of the gifts that I give to my downlines and new team members when they join. I usually send them out a notebook and some cards. I've chosen the Soho Subway paper and I really like it because it has lines on one of the, well on both of the pieces here. So it's going to make it really easy to get things nice and square. You're going to start off with some sticky strip and you're going to run that right down the side of one of the 12 by 12 inch pieces of paper. And this is going to form the cover for your books. And I'm going to line this up with the line that's already on this paper. So that makes it super easy and it means that I'm going to get it completely straight. Now it's a 96 page exercise book. I figure if you're going to give a, a book or a writing jotter, you may as well make it a nice thick one. The spine is not going to be on the spine of the book because this is going to be the weakest part of your page. So I'm just going to have it so the spine sits at the back. So if you line up where you've joined the two pages on the inside, you're going to find that the spine will be about uh, three quarters of an inch around the back, which is exactly what I want or might even be an inch, looks more like an inch to me. So that's going to mean that you're going to have a really firm spine that won't come apart by doing it this way. And you're going to measure the same distance around the edge. So I'm measuring to four centimeters around the edge and I'm going to cut the paper down to fit those four centimeters. Just putting a check mark there putting it into the trimmer, both pieces together, and then just cutting them out. You can see what's left. Now I'm going to bring in that exercise book, and this has staples, two staples down each side, so it's going to be really easy to lift those two edges up and pop the covers underneath. Just measuring that I have the right amount of four centimetres on the bottom and four centimetres on the top pushing them under. Now you can see how it's very easy to get them crooked and if you do this your book's going to be all buckled so you've got to be careful that you don't cover it too tightly. And I think if you just keep everything square and keep checking, keep closing it up, keep moving it around so that you know it's going to open and close without buckling. Just keep pressing it with your hands as you go so that you know that it's nicely squared. Now in this part here you're going to find that there's quite a bit of bulk on the corners and you're just going to cut away that piece of bulk and it's very simple you just take your paper snips and you cut across that section which is a little rectangular section so you can fold down to a point and just taking that bulk out of the corners really makes a much neater notebook. Just fold that down and now before you fold it up, you want to have the book almost shut. You can see how I'm pulling the top cover over to get that first score line. That way, again, your book's not going to buckle. It's not going to be too tightly covered. So that looks pretty good. Now I'm going to do the same on the second side. Just cut away those pieces of bulk that you don't need. This is lovely thick paper, the designer series paper, so it's going to be a really good solid notebook by the time it's finished. Now folding them down, and again it's really important before you commit to this next line that you bring your book up so that it's almost shut. You can see how I'm just folding that gently underneath so that it's not too tight and it will open and close really easily. You can see it takes a little bit of wrangling there to get the straight lines. So that's the basis of the book com completed, but you do need to adhere these flaps so that they don't open up when you open the book up. And I'm just going to use sticky strip. I think it's going to give a really long lasting book. And this is a great notebook to give to my team members to put their ideas and their creations and some of the things that they learn as demonstrators. 
Um, and I think this is going to be a book that my Dow minds are going to really enjoy using. Stampin' Up! actually has a special offer going at the moment where you can join for $85 instead of the usual $169, which is a really great offer. It only goes till the end of this month. So if you're interested in finding out how to become a demonstrator or even if you just want to join as a hobby, please contact me. I'll put my details in the description below the blog here. You can see how that is now a completely beautifully finished book. Now I'm going to use some more of the Soho Subway paper. I've just cut a strip and I could just glue that onto the top, but I want to create a pocket. So to make it a really sturdy pocket, I'm using, again, sticky strip. If you didn't want this to be a pocket, you could just put it on with some Tombow, I think. But I thought it would be handy to have this little front pocket where you could slide a piece of paper or a card that somebody's given you in the front. And of course, the last thing is to apply a label where my new team member can write her name so we know whose book it is if she comes to team meetings. And I'm using Tombow, but remember there's always a spreader on the back. And I do this quite often so that the glue doesn't just smoosh out all over the project and spoil it right at the end. And that was Summer Starfruit, the colour that I've used there, which coordinates with the Soho Subway. This is the other Josh of Notebook that I made earlier, and if you want to have a look to see how to do that, there is a video that you need to scroll back through and just find the Jotter Notebook. I also give my new team members a selection of cards, usually five or six cards, and it just gets them inspired and gives them some ideas to get started on their own. I hope you enjoyed today's project, and I look forward to hearing from you again soon. Bye for now.